So, say you ate too much turkey, and pie, and potatoes, and rolls, and pie, and green bean casserole, and cranberries, and pie. Well, let's just say you want a little more exercise now, but you don't want to do the same boring old workout. Well, we went to a pro trainer and came back with some exercises that are anything but boring. And they're a lot closer to what firefighters do on a regular basis than, say, push-ups. So, let's go to Brute Strength Gym now and meet up with Stella. Hi, I'm Stella Kropinski, the general manager here at Brute Strength Gym in Norfolk, Virginia. As a firefighter, you use more than one muscle part at a time. Your workout should reflect the same. Today, firefighter from Norfolk, Michelle Morgan, is going to show a few exercises that will help you in your job. Our first exercise is we're going to drag a chain. The chain weighs 300 pounds. She's going to squat down using her quadriceps, her hamstrings, and her glutes. And she's going to drag it. You have to pick up bodies and pick up objects all the time. This is conducive to your job. So we're going to drag the chain at any distance that you prefer. The next exercise is called a Bulgarian sandbag. You put your hose over your shoulders all the time. We're going to squat with it. So we're going to put it over our shoulders and we're going to do about five reps with squats. Again, you're using your legs, which is half of your body. You really, it's the majority of any type of training is squats. But this is so effective for you because you carry a lot of stuff on your back. We're going to use the Bulgarian uh, sandbag and also climb the power stairs. You climb things every day. You climb to go up. You should be training the way your workout should be the way that you work. So we're going to climb up and down the stairs with the sandbag. Again, it's going to, you have to keep your abs tight. You're using your legs. It's like climbing the ladder. The next exercise, we are dragging a sled. The sled by itself is 150 pounds. Again, you can make it heavier. You can add things to it. We're going to drape the rope over your shoulder. We're going to drag it for a distance. Again, you're keeping your abs tight. You use most of your back and your shoulders will take a lot of the brunt of your work. So we have to train that way as well. And again, your legs are going to be using it as well. Now we're going to do a hand over hand pull. This is going to take a lot of strength for your shoulders. Again, you use a lot of shoulders in your work, in your line of work. So hand over hand pull, you're squatting down and keeping stability. You're using good form. You're keeping your core tight, which is your abs and your back. And you're going to drag the sled back now. The basis for any training is your typical squats, bench, overhead press. But for you, an occupational athlete, which is what you are, you need to train your whole body because that's how you work. Here at Brute Strength Gym in Norfolk, you can do that. You can make it as difficult as you want. You can increase the chains. We have chains up to 700 pounds. We have kegs that you can carry, sandbags up to 300 pounds. You need to train the way you work. We've got more workout tips from Stella we'll bring you in another volume. In the meantime, if you like what you saw or want some personalized tips, stop by Brute Strength Gym at 836 Poplar Hall Drive in Norfolk, or check out their website at brutestrengthgym.net.